Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? And today, per usual, most always, I'll be talking about some books. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so hey, how y'all doing? Um, happy weekend. Um, hope you have had a good week, and I hope you have an even better weekend. And what I'm here to do today is um, just share some more uh, can do. Uh, things. So what I want to do is uh, a Kindle clean out or clean out my Kindle or whatever you would like to call it. Uh, one of my book boobs, uh, Anaya over at Well World Pharmacies, I will link her details in the description box. She had put on threads that she was starting over with her, uh, basically starting over with her Kindle content. And I thought that was just like a great thing. And I wanted to join in on it. So here I am. So, um, I did a Kindle uh, TBR video and I was able to read some books, um, um, but I did go back in and I've already started, basically already cleaned out my Kindle and I got myself down to a nice amount of books um, that I want to read for the rest of the year um, because Tama and myself, we're going to uh, start the podcast back up again and that'll free up some time for me. Um, to, you know, read those books that we are going to, um, you know, get ourselves, you know, to read and, and discuss on the podcast. Um, and also it'll free up like more personal time for myself because it's going to be a lot of things. Um, I'm already setting up uh, <laughs> for fall and winter. So it's going to be a lot of things going on with me and, um, you know, cleaning out my Kindle, you know, getting some books out of the way. That'll free up some more personal time for myself as well. Where I won't feel like so overwhelmed to do things. Um, and also just showing myself like a little bit more grace um, and not requesting, always hit, saying yes to, you know, when publishers send you things in your, uh, in your email or, you know, things like that. And, and, and then also not automatically always just, you know, looking at a pretty cover and reading, you know, a juicy blurb, uh, which is like a, a, a good track for me. Um, <laughs> But, you know, being in the Kindle Unlimited program and then, you know, going in that library and seeing all these beautiful books, it's, it, it is a lot, you know. So, you know, again, just showing myself more gross, more grace, sorry, more grace and, you know, not automatically adding books to KU because, again, with KU, you can add up to 20 books and that can be... That is a strong uh, test of willpower when you're not adding all those books, you know what I'm saying? And um, and then just also just cleaning up my digital library as well, not having so many books sitting there forever that, you know, to the point where I know dang on well that I'm not even going to read these books, you know what I mean? So that helped as well, just cl uh, cleaning up my digital library as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share my Kindle uh, cloud uh, library um, here on my laptop. I'm going to share my Kindle uh, cloud library. Um, it'll just have like um, my Kindle unlimited books and any books that I uh, purchased in there for whatever reason within Kindle cloud, uh, the cloud reader or the, you know, the cloud reader or whatever. It doesn't show uh, documents. So I won't, it, it, I can't show like my, um, how I want to say, you know, my ARCs, my, my documents, my ARCs that I have re received from publishers or whatever. So with that, I'll be sharing, I'll, I keep, uh, uh, sorry for the noise in the background, ciao. Um, <laughs> I keep a separate spreadsheet as well for any ARCs. Um, that I request through these, uh, through publishers and are approved for just to keep, you know, a tracker for myself. Um, so I'll be sharing a screen of that as well. They'll be on the same um, screen or whatever, just two separate tabs. Um, but yeah, and that is through my Google Documents, the spreadsheets uh, version of uh, Google Documents, which is just like great because they're like updating it constantly. So it's really getting better and better. And, you know, you don't have to like use like uh, 
Word, you know, or Excel, anything. You ain't got to pay all that extra money with Windows and shit for those programs. So, I like that. So, we're going to go ahead and um, share the screen. And yeah. Okay. So, we are here at my um, Can Do a Cloud Library. And these are the books that I have left. Now, like I said, I was unable to um, get the, for whatever reason, the documents ain't um, showing in my Kindle Cloud, which is, you know, my ARCs, which is, you know what, fine, whatever, don't share. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Kindle Unlimited. Now, here is where uh, the books that I have left that I want to read um for Kindle Unlimited. I'm down to three books, which is fine. Some I've already read, but right now I'm just down to the three. So I have, uh, I'm gonna keep Lock You Down by um, Shay Sanders. Again, this is the third um, book in uh, her brother's series. And then I have Morrow by Trisha Wolf and Brand uh, Weaver. Um, which is a, a, it's like a dark uh, romance, two serial killers, get it on, okay? Um, and then I'm going to also keep Intrigued by Danger by India Carter, which is uh, another book in a series of her, uh, it's a erotica uh, series. So, and like I said, when I did my Kindle TBR uh, video, this book is 500 plus pages, so I will be taking my time to read that because who got time for all of that? Like, probably, why are you writing so many pages for a room? You know, anyway. Um, <laughs> so then we're going to just go to, um, well, I guess my books is my books. So um, then I have, as far as like, you know, wrote just regular books, I have a uh, Sister Samurai uh by obey uh i'm sorry by tatiana obey um decided to uh well i purchased this one i was interested this is um it is a a, a magna uh or graphic novel with a, a black uh female samurai it's a novella <laughs> cheers to me okay um then i have uh in their shadows by um Brianna Cole. I love Brianna Cole. She writes like great, um, just great drama filled um, stories. They're usually, um, you know, suspense, you know, with some romance involved, but it's always a crazy ass plot um, going on in her books. And this has been sitting on, you know, was in my Kindle library for a while. So I will be reading that um, soon. Nish. Um, once I get you know a lot of these dang on um arcs out of the way which i have so again pat myself on the back for that um then i have mystical midlife mate by reggie dupree uh this is a book in her um who do um it's a, a who do town series uh that she has i don't know uh what series this is uh, what number a book in the series that this is for um her um like i said um i did a video where i did like paranormals with witches or whatever this was one of them uh she had a prequel that i believe rolled into the first book and all the other stuff but you know when i do I'll, I'll put the number of the series uh the number for this for this book um in the details because child I, I i don't know um <laughs> but it's a very good series older he uh, heroine um running from a family curse whole lots of drama we love it okay and these books that you see down here are just some um books that i have kept over time uh these are mostly like my spiritual uh books um tarot books um that i uh that I tend to uh, read and enjoy as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name those off. We have uh, African-American Magic, 
by Stephanie uh, Bird. Um, this is more of literary fiction right here, Ride or Die by Shanita Hubbard. I bought this a long time ago when I was like on Twitter heavy. Folks were like raving about this book. So, and here I am. Um, <laughs> then I have African American Spirituality by another book by Stephanie Rose. I believe this one, um, this one came first. I bought this one first and then I brought this one. Um, and then I had Definition with, uh, Osto, uh, Mancy by, um, Monique, uh, Joyner. And, and then this book I've had, like, this is, has been the longest book I have had inside of my Kindle library. And it is Psychic Tarot. Um, by Nancy uh, Antonucci so and this was just a recommendation from uh, one of the tarot uh, folks that I follow here so it's been like a very long time that this book has been sitting inside of my uh, Kindle library and it's crazy but uh, these are all the books that I have but basically we're concentrating on these six books right here uh, far as like you know my enjoyment reading i mean the spiritual books i read for enjoyment as well but it's also more like you know to educate me on uh spiritual practices and things like that especially you know within uh uh the black diaspora and things like that so yeah and um so yeah we just basically like far as like books for my enjoyment like i said we're just concentrating on these six books right here and I'm going to try my best not to add um, any more books to Kindle Unlimited until I read these and, and get them out of the way. We're going to try our best. So then I'm going to go on over here to my uh, spreadsheet that I have within Google Documents. Now, this, these are the ARCs that I have left to read. I'm trying to be good to myself, show myself a little bit more grace, and um, not request anymore, but you know, <laughs> who knows with me? I know me very well, who knows with me? Um, so I have the list, uh, you know, sec se um, section as in starting with the name of the book, the cover, as you can see right here, the author, release date, uh, what would be my rating, my post date, and with my post date, I'll be either posting to either YouTube or my blog. Um, most of the times when I'm reading ARCs, um, and if, you know, if I do post a review, I'm generally posting those reviews on my blog. Um, I'll put the deets for my blog in the description as well. But to start off, we have We Welcome You by Vincent Tirado. This is out September 3rd. I am currently reading that. It is horror, okay? It is also, uh, I guess, a sapphic horror. So, kind of give you, it's, it, it was kind of giving you those vibes of, um, you know, all the kind of like gentrification, not gentrification, but, you know, um, moving into like, you know, kind of like these sanitized uh, neighborhoods. Uh, we have a, a lesbian couple. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's starting off okay. I, I can't really give like my fuller thoughts on it. We'll just see how it goes. Um, then we have Off Track by Isha Patel. This is going to be released September 24th. This is, a, um, what do you call that? A race car um, F1 uh romance and i believe both of the main characters are drivers um so this should be interesting uh to read uh then i have deja Bru by celestine martin which is going to be released october 1st this is the third book i believe also the final book in her series her paranormal romance series uh that she has and then I have the night, the nightmare before Christmas by uh, Sarah Rush, which is going to be, uh, if I'm saying that right, if I'm not, my apologies, um, because I hate when people get mess my name up too. But I'm kind of used to it. But yeah, anyway, um, that's going to be released um, October eighth. Uh, this is a um, a gay romance, um, and. 
from reading the blurb, it's supposed to have that whole, you know, nightmare before Christmas, you know, Tim Burton, Halloweeny type thing going on, but make it a romance and make the characters gay. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully it is, um, hopefully it's good. I saw some of the re reviews and some people is, are saying that it's not given, you know, the whole nightmare before, uh, Christmas vibes, but you know, I don't know. I'll read for myself and find that out. Um, then we have Love and Bloom by Lucy Eden. This comes out November 12th. This is a small town romance. I've read Lucy Eden before. Um, she does like really great contemporary romance. Um, and she does a lot of interracial romance. Um, you know, that big word they love to use in publishing, diverse romance. So... And I, I like her books. She And she's a really sweet, cool person. So, yeah, I want to read that. And I just, I think I just requested this one. Um, I've been requested Deja Vu. And uh, they just sent that to me. Like, Berkeley just sent that maybe, like, a couple of days ago. They probably, they finally was like, here, here, girl, here, approved. Um... And then I have the last one by Rachel Housel Hall, which is going to be released December 30th. This is a, um, a romance fantasy. Now, if you have read Miss Hall works before, then you know that she mainly writes mystery thrillers. So when the publisher was like, hey, she is, um, you know, she's doing a, um, a romance fantasy, I was like, oh, okay. And then her publisher is, I think she releases through Tor, I believe, for her mystery thrillers, I believe. But this one is coming through Bramble, which is their romance, um, their romance, uh, uh, you know, section of, uh, of the publishing house or whatever. So I want to see what, you know, how she does for this. And the hardcover is just beautiful but of course they sent me the digital because they was like oh we don't have any more hard covers then why did you put that in the email miss lady why you put that in the email because i was like i want that hard cover i don't know if i read this book and i love it i might just gift myself for christmas and get this in the hard cover because the hard cover had like spread edges and whatnot i was like okay this is very very pretty i wish they do like more hard covers that are actually you know not with the uh the uh the covering on it with uh without the jacket i wish they would do like more hardcover printings that are actually just like the book itself that would be just wonderful for me but yeah anyway i'm rambling again sorry about that um <laughs> but yeah these are what i cleaned and all of these books right now are sitting inside of my kindle so right now that is a total of one two three four five six so right now that is a total of 12 books that I have, um, that I got my, you know, that I decided to, to keep and read, um, for, yeah, for pretty much the rest of, uh, the year, so, okay, so, not bad, right, so, like I said, I got myself down to, um, 12 books, and, um, I, it, I, I, I'll be okay, like I said, it, it frees up some time for me for the rest of the year. And again, showing myself a little bit grace and not um, being good to myself and not like over requesting um, books, you know, just to be any other way. Um, that is it for me. Um, how are you doing? for the rest of your reading year. Are you okay? Um, did you clean out uh, your digital library, your physical library? Most of my physical books, I'm actually like sidebar before I leave. Um, my, my physical books, I'm actually good at. I've been constantly cleaning up my physical uh, TBR 
like throughout the uh throughout the year so i'm down to books that i actually want i do have a few more that i do want to get rid of but what i'm doing with those books especially with the physical um arcs that i received from publishers i already talked to my friends at the library association uh you know near me around me and um I'm dropping those books off tomorrow. It's like a little small pal I have. It's, it's, it's not a lot. I got better at that too. Uh, you know, especially with being an influencer with Ber Berkeley. And, you know, they send that list out where you can, you know, request the physical copies of books. So I've gotten better with that too and actually requesting books that I want to actually, you know, keep on my shelves or whatever. But the ones that I don't, I'm actually going to do drop those off uh, to my friends at the Library Association um, tomorrow while I'm doing all this running around. But yeah, I mean, well, technically today because anyway, but yeah, it, it, this weekend. So yeah, so I've been actually really great with my um physical books and then you know the lady was like you know you could drop these off and if you have any more that you want to you know drop off you can drop them off as you need to and that is just great i really have a great you know friends of library association um near me so yeah but anyway y'all that is it for me have a great rest of your day again enjoy your weekend and until the next one later days bye